Hi guys, welcome back to Kirshner Farmstead. Today we're going to be covering a cordless buffer polisher that we got. It's from Saker Company. Uh, if you saw our last video on the handheld little chainsaw, okay? Uh, same company. Um, they seem to put out a good product. Uh, it's got the, let's see, 12 volt charger. I just got it, so we're gonna learn it together. Okay, it's a 2000 milliamp rechargeable battery. It's got six gears, easy installation, okay? The handle installs quickly, and the cordless polisher is lightweight, making it easy to carry and store in the car, okay? Uh, they say you can use it for all sorts of stuff. Cleaning glass windows, it's got like a sponge on it, car polishing, stove cleaning. Let's open it up and uh, see what we got. Alright, so we open up the box. Let's see what's in here. What do you think it is, Tanner? Oh man, they sent us an apron. Alright, well, I guess that'll keep you clean while you're trying to buff your car or clean your windows. Okay, we'll set that over here. Right on top, you got the instruction manual. All right. Gives the breakdown of everything in here. Okay. Make sure you're using all your proper safety gear with this, okay? Eyeglasses. Um, if it gets loud, hearing protection. I don't think this gets that loud though. Okay, saying to uh, make sure you don't wear loose clothing or jewelry that's gonna get wrapped up in it. It does say in here, have your power tool certified, uh, certified by a qualified repair person uh, if you need it repaired, okay? Um, I'm trying to see what kind of maintenance stuff it has in here. It doesn't really have much for maintenance. Um, probably just keeping it fully charged and good to go. Never, never use it if it's uh, below four degrees Celsius. All right, so we'll keep that one in mind. All right, you have an abrasive pad, sanding pad, two thousand grit. Comes with a buffing pad. I'll definitely be using that on the truck. Nice and soft. Okay. Here's that sponge pad I was talking about. That would be really good for cleaning the windows, getting all the uh, stuff off the windows, put a little cleaner on there and uh, be able to just buff away. Um, oh, it came with two of them, okay. Another buffing pad. Came with a bunch of, they're almost like chamois uh, cloths, okay. Little slip on ones. Um, be able to polish away the wax if you're waxing the car. For the main part, we have the buffer. All right, so it comes with the, the Velcro pad on here, okay? So you can quickly attach any of these on there, okay? Just like that, stick it on, and it's good to go. So that's kind of cool. What else we got? We have the 2000 milliamp battery. Now I'm just pulling it out of the box so it is not fully charged yet. Um, I think they say they come at 70%. Let's see how that goes in there. So it locks in. It's got little safety tabs on both sides. Okay. Seems like it fits in there nicely. Um, and then it's got the charger, all right? So, it's got the speed adjustment right here on the side. Um, one through, let's see, six, okay? So we'll kick it on and uh, see what it sounds like. So one, oh, the battery's really low. Oh, no it's not. So one's really slow, but the battery is low. So it has a little blinking red light here. It's telling me it needs to be charged. It's not loud at all, nice and quiet. Oh. And there it goes, it died. So we do need to charge this before we use it. 
Uh, it has three indicator lights right here, and uh, when it blinks red, the battery is about to die. But it is not loud. Um, it's nice, portable, fits in your hand really well. Uh, we're gonna give it a test and see how it does. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna test it out on the stove today. Um, we're going to use some baking soda. Okay, apply a little bit on there. The baking soda acts both for the cleaning power and for the the grittiness to be able to break up the dirt and the grime. Okay, now we're gonna add the vinegar. Okay, now for the buffer. All right, let's test her out. Okay, so we're gonna start slower because I was spinning baking soda all over the place. Okay, now we're gonna turn it up so look at that. Here, we'll work our way across. It handles really nice. Has a little bit of more vibration than I thought it would, but it's not too bad. It cleans really nice. And the baking soda and the vinegar on that scrub pad are really getting through that grime. Okay. Vinegar on there. That's not bad, guys. I think this product will really do you good for uh, quick kitchen work, uh, to clean your car. Kind of hard to get in the corners there, but not too crazy. So, on Amazon right now, uh, these are ranging anywhere from a hundred dollars up to hundred twenty four dollars Okay, depending on which vendor you go through you can also go on the Saker website um, And I give it a good review. I think this is a good product. It's it's working well And it's a, a good mid-range uh, Buffer it's not crazy expensive and it's not it's not a cheap guy. It's got good quality to it. Look at that, it's, it's cleaning out the dirt. It's doing really well. All right guys, thank you for joining us today on Kirstner Farmstead. I know we don't do a lot of product reviews like this, but um, you know we got given the opportunity to try this out. So we wanted to show you guys, see what you think about it. Let us know in the comments below and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. All right, like always, have a good day and God bless.